she's just gonna take a little nap. It was kind of stressful. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. It does. That's what those induction stoves do. <laughs> when it's cold, it doesn't matter. Yeah. When it's hot, you're not going to want to stand on the stove. Is this not the most amazing thing in the world to wake up to? It's clearing up, guys. It's clearing up. You can see the bottom now. Oh, it's so clear. Our chair situation is getting a bit hilarious. Yesterday, we put fish in the pond. Okay. Lydia will not stop bugging us to let the fish out. Okay, they're all used to the temperature now. Let's see what they do. And there they go. Fish into the pond. It's too big. They're like, what the? <laughs> Where do we go? And we ordered tilapia online, so that's coming soon. But we still need to find like a couple fun colored fish because these little goldfish are hiding and the kids can't find them. Oh, uh, there's like a ton of bees all around. There are, I'm trying to not <gasps> think about it. Oh my God, I didn't even realize, Mom, there's so many. Just don't think about it. They can- They're gonna kill us. If you act fearful, then they're like a, just don't worry about um, it. Uh oh. Okay. I really do not trust them. Okay, okay, okay. Dad, the bees are literally everywhere. Kevin, we have like a hundred bees all around us. We're trying not to freak out, but it's kind of, we're kind of uh, feeling a little bit. You want me to bring the milking scan somewhere else? I don't know. Yeah, they're kind of like everywhere. Look, Ron, look up here. This is where all the June bees are. Carpenter bees, Lydia, not June bees. June bees. Carpenter. June. Well, where should we put the stand then? Anywhere. Just like right here. You could move the stand right here, honey, by Tilly's cage in the grass if you want. Okay. I don't know how we're going to get Luna up on that thing. <laughs> yeah. Look, you put it right next to here and Tilly's going to eat them the whole time. Okay, come up. There you go. I hear it. Yeah, Dad, I'll stand by you. So we've had a couple hives in these trees back over by the milking station, and so we had a bee expert come by and try to draw them out, and they got really, really mad. So we don't know what we're gonna do with those bees, and now they're flying all over the place, the causing bee. mayhem. Current milking station <laughs> is over here. I need the tail on the white bees. Okay, go get them. How do we get over our fear of bees? You can't. You just gotta not worry about them stinging you. Mm. Doesn't hurt that bad, right? Just a little bit. No, so I just about had a seizure the last time the bee. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you wanna do today? You think we have time to go try to find a really cool exotic fish? As long as Dad wants to get one, one or fish. two cool colorful ones. I yeah. wanna get a big fish. A big, so a big slow one. So yeah, so it can't go in the end because those little goldfish can go in every Whoa, single crack. just because those are so little. Oh, Come here, Willow! Willow! Come here! She knows her name. Yeah, she does. Willow! Come on! Come New on, milking Willow. area! Come on! I 
know it's confusing. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> scared of Dora, I bet. Yeah, put Dora up there. So yesterday we burned off Willow's horns and it is super, super sad. She actually did really oh, well. Yeah, she didn't she hardly cry. cry. It's weird because her horns were so, so teeny tiny. Um, but we put some numbing cream on it. We put a little cool pack on it. She was kind of just chilling out with us afterwards. Just, just like enjoying the cool pack on her head. But yep, now she doesn't have any horns. Yeah, I don't think she wants like all a bunch of hands. Your hands are cold. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah, she's just gonna take a little nap. Oh, it's kind of stressful. We're sorry. Sorry, Willow. We've just known our friends that have goats that have hurt themselves and killed themselves. So we're not going to let you get hurt and kill yourselves no matter what. Not going to get your horns caught in something and hurt yourself and hang yourself or something. All right. Dora, come on. All right, nobody, nobody got you down. I'll get you down. Oh, dang, dog. She took a detour. She's so used to us bringing her over by the pond and now she's gonna come this way. You gonna come back to the house with us, huh? They're I'm away. all in that cave, Mom. They love the fish cave. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all in there. They're all hiding in there. Ooh, that is cold. It feels good, I'm like hot right now. There she is. She loves running around along the top of that bog. She won't go across the waterfall though. She's so she scared. did that one time. She went on that rock. She didn't go on the side though. Yeah. Oh, she got wet. She got in the water. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's like, no, no. She doesn't like that. I don't know, unless she learns to like it. Willow, the swimming goat. She is. Oh my gosh, look at this bird. Man, he. She's right next to it. Oh, look. She wants to get. It. Oh, Minnie. Oh, no, it just went to the other side of the pond. Okay, let's see. There it is. Can you guys see it? Hold on, I gotta get really up close to it. That's a weird bird. Wow. Wow, dad. Do I want to swim right now? It's not that cold. You always say that though, and then it always is. Well, it isn't. Feel your feet in it now. <laughs> okay. I'll feel it. And it's not cold. Woo! Mom, oh my god. <laughs> not that cold. There wasn't even one goldfish. Flish? Goldfish? Goldfish floating. floating on the floating on the top this morning. You've been having lots of trouble with words, Kevin. So. You said, you know what? He said kitchen. He was gonna go feed the kitchens. <laughs> well, guys, I've been telling everybody that we would never have koi in our pond, and then the second day we get some koi. The kids convinced me that koi would be good, and so we got two little koi that are now acclimating to the water. Just swimming in the in a uh, bag. Uh. So we don't know what to name them and we like to name things because we like to. So just you guys need to come up with the best names you can and put it in the comments. I found this egg in the grass here guys. Is it a real egg? Ethan, come it, look see what dad found. Is it candy? Whoa. It's not candy. I think it's a candy. It's an Easter candy. It's not a Pop candy you guys. Mouth. Yeah, you could just, just pop it in your mouth. You could just taste it. Oh my it. gosh, yeah, no. <laughs> Taste it and Guys, see if it's candy. It's a real candy. egg. No, dude. Oh. No, that wasn't. If it's not, that was in a chicken's bottom. <laughs> chicken. This it's is not a egg. chicken's egg. Oh, it's it's I didn't mean chicken. Can, can we incubate it? We... But it feels heavy. It's too light. It's let me see. Let me see. Let me see. You can kind of feel. No, I swear that. I swear that's chocolate. We open that. That's chocolate. Okay, let's crack it. Let's throw it on the ground. Let me lick it. No. Okay, go break it. Just, just break it. it. Oh. Well, we're, we're, we're not gonna incubate it. And what are you gonna do? Just to... You do it. Okay. But he likes smashing things. Oh! oh it was a bird egg. I told you. It was it's still a yolk. It's still a yolk. It wasn't even fertilized. We should have cooked a little omelet with it. 
stomp it into the dirt. I could have sworn that was a candy. Good thing so funny. There's one, two, three. Sometimes clouds got in our favorite places, but we were young and unaware. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chase and payment on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. It's coming. Winter is coming. <laughs> Irrigation is coming. All right, let's go show them what, what we're talking about. The plan. All right guys, irrigation. So as you know, we get flood irrigation in our yard, which means we basically flood our yard with water. So what are we gonna do? How are we gonna keep it out of the pond? Well, let me bring you down here so you can see that we've got a berm. So the pond is actually raised uh, like a foot, a foot and it's all the way around. So the irrigation supposedly, theoretically, it shouldn't reach the pond. The neighbor's irrigation is seeping into ours right now. Yeah, so we actually skipped this irrigation round and our neighbor's irrigation seeped over, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah. Because it's not very high, this is it, and when it does fill up, it's gonna fill up everywhere else. But around Only the whole thing. Eight inches. You know. um, we're gonna get some more plants for the bog area and all around the pond, and then we're gonna get some fish we already got some goldfish, we've got two koi, yet to be named, and then we're gonna get like 20 or 30 tilapia. Yeah. Apparently there are many different kinds of tilapia you can get. We got the kind that grows between five and seven months, it's called the Blue Nile tilapia. So come August or October, we're gonna be eating tilapia. We're gonna be having fish tacos. So maybe we'll just like invite a couple people to come over and eat it with us. Although our families will probably think we're crazy that we're farming our own fish and eating our own fish. What's crazier than milking goats? I mean, yeah. you've got three working parts of the pond. You've got the plants, the fish, and the bacteria. And all three work together to be able to keep the algae away and keep everything healthy. So here's the gist of how the pond works. We have a pump that's back here behind these rocks. That pump takes the water from the pond and pumps it up to the bog. And the bog has all this bacteria and this bacteria is gonna help filter the pond and so do the plants as well. And then it pours down, the bog pours down through the waterfall back to the pond. So it's like a circle, again and again and again. And then we also have fish in there to help eat the algae. We have plants that help take the nutrients and they starve out the algae and there's a lot of other little technical things but that is the basic flow of this. Is that good? Perfect. Yeah, our pond company is going to bring in really cool plants and really cool fish for us as well. So, excited. Yeah. Okay guys, so at night the fish all come out and they swarm around the lights. So, right now you can see like all 20 of them swimming around in open water. Look. They're all there. All 20 of them are out. Awesome. There's a lot over there. Just around the light because they don't like being in the dark. You tired? No. <laughs> I'm gonna watch my show. Before I it's 10.30. And we just got back from Lydia's game and it went longer than usual and we're really tired. Ethan says he got a good shot of the fish. Oh, yeah, he said um, they were swarming around the light. Ethan called us at Lydia's softball game because it was that important. <laughs> but it is kind of cool to see. I can't wait till it's actually warm enough for us to swim out here at night. All right guys, that's it for tonight. Thanks for joining us today. 
we're gonna go relax. Probably just go to bed, we're tired. Kevin says we're gonna watch a show, but I don't think we're gonna make it through a show. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye.